doing well. All of that good stuff. My name is Angela Petrilli, here with the awesome folks at Fisherman for a brand new live episode of The Riff Rundown, where I teach you guys how to play one of my favorite songs in an hour. It's a live Q&A too, so you guys can ask me questions live in time with the lesson, and it's just a ton of fun. It's been so great. This is the 50th lesson. It's crazy. We are almost at a year of doing these live stream lessons and it's been such a blast. And thank you all so much for tuning in and for making these so much fun. So here's what we're gonna do here today. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how to play Tangerine by Led Zeppelin, one of my favorite songs on acoustic guitar. It's a lot of fun. This was originally recorded with a 12 string, but I know some of us don't have one. So if you have a six string acoustic guitar in standard tuning, it's going to be great. If you have a 12 string, even better, even better, but it's, it's gonna sound just as beautiful on a six string acoustic too, so don't you worry. So get tuned up to standard tuning, and before we get started here, you know I always like to ask a question, so let me know where you're tuning in from and your first concert. So where are you tuning in from and your first concert? So here is Tangerine by Led Zeppelin. fun one, a really fun one. I guess you guys can tell that I like playing this song. This is a great tune, so we're gonna be learning this one today. I'm loving all the comments here. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. I asked at the top of the hour, let me know where you're tuning in from and your favorite, or your first concert, your first concert. So I'll read a couple of those and then we'll get into the lesson because these are always really fun to read. All right, we've got, we've got some good ones. Doobie Brothers, awesome. Aerosmith, Genesis, love it. Tower of Power, killer. God, they're such a great band. That's great. Oh, this is too cool. Someone said Led Zeppelin. That's pretty awesome. James Gang, great. Great band. Golden Earring, love this. Thank you all so much for tuning in. This is so cool. Elton John, that is very, very cool. And The Police. Gotta love those guys in The Police. That is great. Oh, thank you all so much for tuning in. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. As always, we're gonna break this up part by part note by note, chord by chord, all of that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's look at the intro here. So this is the intro. I'll play it just a little bit faster, or a little bit slower. 
um, than I did at the top of the hour. I do want to mention too, before we get into this, because of the analog recording that was going on when they recorded the song originally, it sounds a little flat if you listen to it compared to like standard tuning. So because of the analog machine, sometimes the tuning is just a little, it, it gets a little flat. This, this happened a lot. So if you try to play along to the original, it might sound a little wacky, um, but know that they were probably in standard tuning because of the analog, they had to shift things over. So just little fun facts. And if you wanted to practice along to the song, just something I wanted you to know. It's, it's, you're tuned right, is, is all I'm saying. You, you're not crazy. It's just the way the analog machines were back then. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. Here's the intro. I'm gonna play it a little bit slower again, as I'm sure you guys noticed. Basic chords here, but it's really all about the emotion, the feeling, really good strumming. So let's go ahead and play it here nice and slowly, and then we'll, we'll talk about it. We're just going to do it from that section first. All right. So what we've got here, the chords that we are dealing with, are going to be A minor, A sus4, A sus2, G, and D. All right. So A minor here. How we're going to play this. All right. For my beginners who are, who are watching, here's how we're going to do this. First finger, place that on the C note, first fret of that B string. Second finger, second fret of the D string. That note is E. And then your third finger, just underneath that second finger, second fret of the G string, that note is A. So the one flat three, five, right? The three notes that we need to make this A minor chord are gonna be A, C, and E. All right, and we're gonna strum from the A string downward. We're just gonna do one downward strum here, okay? Now we go to an A sus four. I want you to keep your first finger here because the next chord we're going to play is an A minor. So no need to lift it up because we're just going to play that chord next anyway. All right. So no need to expel that energy if we don't need to. Okay. So place that third finger on the third fret of that B string. That note is D. Okay. So this is an A sus4. Let's have a listen to that. Really cool chord. All right. So what's happening here, we're replacing that C which is our flat three and replacing the four instead, which is the note of D, third fret, B string. All right, and this also gets one downward strum, okay? Now we go back to A minor, lift the pinky finger. Remember, our first finger is already there, so we don't, it's, 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 it's already there for us, nice and easy, okay? So let's go back and forth, A minor, A sus4, back to A minor. Not too bad, right? And all downward strokes here. Just like that, not too bad. So now to play the A sus2, what we're gonna do here, keep your second and third finger where they are, lift the first finger up. So the chord is gonna sound like this. I love a good A sus2 chord. Okay, so we get a good one here. All right, so we're gonna put that after that A minor. So let's go ahead and do that nice and slowly here. Starting to hear it now, isn't that cool? So let's go ahead and do that again from the top. And nice and light when we strum this too, I'm using just a little bit of a lighter pick here. I have a .73, I know you, uh, some of you like to ask. Um, I've got a little bit of a lighter pick. I usually use .88s, the ones that look like this, those green ones. These are the ones I usually use. But for today's lesson, I'm going just a little bit lighter. Okay, so let's go ahead and do those chords again. And nice and light, let the pick do the work for you here. Notice how I'm strumming from the elbow. I'm not using my wrist, letting getting that power from the, the elbow and the upper arm here. 
making sure that arm can swing. Like think of it like a windmill or like a windshield wiper, okay? Now from here, we go to a G chord. And that's gonna be the strumming there. So let's go ahead now, adding that G chord to the top with those, that, that series of the A minors and A sus chords. Okay, let's do that again. And on the upstroke. A little faster. Now let's go to our D chord here, okay? So what I want you to do, we're playing this G chord, okay? So, so the notes that we have in this G chord, G, B, and D are one, three, five, that makes up a major chord, okay? I'm playing the full fledged using all four fingers to play this G chord. My third finger is on the third fret of the B string, that's the D note, and my fourth finger is on the third fret of the E string, okay? So when I switch to my D major chord, leave the third finger where it is, and then switch to D. This third finger is like your pivot point. Notice how I can keep my finger here and switch from that G to D, like that, okay? Pretty cool, right? So that's what I want here. Again, it's gonna make this sound a nice, flawless, flawless chord change. Notice from G to D. Why lift that finger if it's already going to be there in the next chord? Make less work for yourself, all right? So let's go ahead from the top. Now, once we get to this D chord, I want you to strike the open D string just by itself and then go back to strumming the entire chord. So it would sound like something like this. Let's go ahead from the top. One more time. like that, okay? So again, good sustain is always really, really great with a beautiful acoustic song like this one. So make sure to let those chords breathe when you play this, okay? So that's what's going on there. Now that's like the first half of this intro verse thing. Cause again, the, the, the intro verse or, you know, we're using the same chords. So with the second half, here's what this sounds like. Part two. All right, lots of cool suspended chords, a little bit of uh, arpeggiating some of the chords a little bit. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so from that D chord, we're gonna go to a C major chord. So how we do this, right? C, E, G, those are our target one, three, five notes that we need to play on, on uh, to play our C chord, okay? So what we wanna do here, we wanna reach with that third finger, third fret of that A string, that note is C. Your second finger, second fret of the D string, that note is E, that's our third open G string, which is our five, and then we have our first finger on the first fret of the B string, that note is C, and then open E string. So, strum everything except the big E string up top, okay? And we're just gonna do a nice, loose 
strum there again with Jimmy Page. He has such a cool, loose technique, and we see this here in this song too. All right, and a lot of times when he's switching in between these chords, a lot of times we can hear open strings, which I think is really, really great. It adds a really cool depth of sound, which I think is a lot of fun. So here we go from the G chord to that D chord, and then we're going to go to C. All right, so here we go. Pretty quick little switch here. So what we do next is we're going to pluck the C note, third fret of that A string, and then we're going to hit E, second fret of the D string. All right, so it's going to sound like this from the D chord. All right, just like that. So now what we do here, okay, we're gonna pluck those notes again, but we're also gonna pluck the open G string two times, okay? So the whole phrase is gonna sound like this. Now how I like to pluck this, downward pluck on the, the C note, third fret, downward pluck on the E note, second fret. Now, we could do this two different ways. I like to strike this upwards twice, that open G string. But you could choose to alternate pick it, strike the G string downwards once, then on the second time, pluck upwards. Okay, so you could do that too. I'll give you guys um, your choice on that. I always like to give you options when I can, so. That's if we pluck it upwards twice, or if we do a hybrid pick, okay? All right, it's up to you. So let's go ahead now. What happens here is we're going to pluck the same strings in that same orientation, but what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna play a G over B, okay? We're doing a bit of a walk down here. So. What we would do here from C, okay? Just bring that second finger up to the second fret of the A string, that note is B, and do the same plucking, okay? So let's do this again from the top and we'll include that, the, 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 the walk downs, okay? So here we go. Then from there we go to an A minor. And again, nice loose strum with that as well, all right? So now let's go ahead and do that again, but this time we're gonna include the A minor at the end, all right? Here we go. So with that A minor, strike the open A string and nice loose strumming with the chord. All right, let's do that one more time. I'll slow it down just a little bit and if anybody has questions um, thus far, I'll go ahead and answer those. All right, so here we go. Let's do that one more time. All right, so after that A minor, what's happening here? 
You're gonna give me good, like two downward or upward, downstroke, upstroke, or upwards, downwards. There we go. <laughs> so A minor. To G. So it's an upstroke, downstroke, D chord, upstroke, downstroke. Say that 10 times fast. Okay. So here we go from the walk down. Again, right? The pivot finger, third finger, keep it there. It's gonna help you out. All right, here we go again from the walk up, down. Let that chord ring one more time. You can do it. All right, so let's do the second half here, or the second part, or third part, wherever we're at. Third part? Third part. A bunch of D suspended chords. We've got a D sus two, we have a D major, and we have a D sus four. So what are those notes that are happening there, okay? So for a D sus two, what we want there, okay? Why don't you just play a regular D major chord? To play a D sus two, all you're gonna do is lift up that middle finger. So we're placing the E note in there. All right, so with this, it's a suspended two. We're getting rid of the third, which should be that F sharp, that's in D major. And we are just lifting that second finger up, now playing the E note instead. So the notes in that chord would be D, A, or if we're, we're saying this in the correct order, D, E, and A. All right, really cool open chord there, ton of fun. All right, so let's go ahead here. So what's happening? We've got the D chord, right? And that's the note that's ringing, right? That really awesome sustain that we want. You're gonna lift that second finger up, playing the D sus two. Upward stroke, D major. Downward stroke, D sus four. How we play this? Play your D major chord as is, I'm not telling you to change anything, all right? Then you're gonna get your third finger here, placing that on the third fret of the E string, that note is G. That's the four of D major, okay? So again. Okay, it's just like that. So. Now we're gonna go back to D major, upward stroke. D sus two, downward stroke. D major, up stroke. Okay, let's go ahead and try this. I'll, I'll, I'll do it slow and notice how I'm really, I'm being a little hyperbolic here with how I am, how, how you know, high I'm moving the arm. I'm not really moving it that high. I just really want you guys to see like upward stroke, downward stroke, okay? So. Do it even slower. From the D chord. So there's that bit of it there. Let's go ahead now. Let's add all three parts that we have done. Okay, with this intro and verse. So we're killing two birds with one stone here, which is really, really great. So from the top, I'll do it a little bit slower. I'll do one pass as a slow pass and then one pass a little bit faster, okay? So here we go.
let's do one a little bit faster, then we'll get to this chorus. So here we go. That's what's happening there. So let's go ahead now. So, so after that is played, right, you got your verses and all that good stuff. And then we go ahead and go to the chorus, okay? So the chorus is gonna sound something like this. We've got pickups at the top with a C chord and a D chord and a G chord, all right? So it's gonna sound something a little like this. <laughs> here we're not doing any crazy you know we're not doing any of that stuff at least in this one today so really really good stuff here the chords are simple yet we really want to make sure that the strumming right is nice and open so take your time um, I'm seeing some comments about using heavier picks for, for for this song if you are comfortable using a heavier pick by all means do that if that's if that's what you like so I get, I'm using a, a 0.73 with this. I'm allowing the pick to do the work. I'm not digging in to those strings. I don't want to do that. I'm lightly brushing them. Now, don't get me wrong. There is still power from the arm that is strumming these chords, okay? We still want to be assertive, but yet gentle in the attack with the pick. As far as like the hand and the pick, we want to be very, very gentle there. So just lightly brush the picks. You shouldn't be feeling like the peaks and valleys of the strings, just lightly brush. Don't worry, the power is coming from your arm and it's going to sound great, but let the pick do the work for you, okay? So let's go ahead and talk about this chorus here. So let's look at that chunk first. So we've got C, D, and G. We already talked about the notes that are in those chords. We already talked about how to play them, so I won't do that right now. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna talk about the strumming. Down, up, down. Same thing with D. And same thing with G, okay? So remember the pivot point from D to G there. It's gonna make the sound a lot smoother. That's what's happening there. Pretty straightforward. They each get three strums. All right, very straight to the point there. So when we get again to the, the, the meat of the, the chorus here, we're gonna, the order is G, D, C, D. Okay, and it sounds like this. So I'm gonna do that nice and slowly here. Remember the pivot points, okay? Nice and slowly. Keep that strumming hand moving. Something else to notice in this chord progression here, there are some open strings. It's a good thing. It's something Jimmy Page does a lot, which is awesome, okay? So. See right there how I, I had the open strings? Totally cool. G. To that D chord, okay? So some of those open strings are getting in, in there. It's good. There it is again from switching from D to C. We see it again. And there it is between C and D. The 
these are good. Sometimes it doesn't work when we have these open strings, right? And these chord progressions, but for this one, it's great, right? I encourage you to get them in there. So here we go from the top of the chorus, all right? Too bad. I'm seeing a lot of cool comments here. We got people coming along quite nicely on it. Love it, love it, love it. Happy to hear it. I'm curious, is anybody playing this with the 12 string? Let me know um, if anyone is playing along with the 12 string. Because the outro of this is going to sound just absolutely killer um, on a 12 string. So folks, let me know. And again, I'm getting questions about uh, the gear and the pickups. So in the Com or in the um, video description, I, I have a link there so you can check out all the cool stuff that Fisherman is doing and the gear that I use for these riff rundowns. The link is in there, so click it. You can find out more using the RS Spectrum DI uh, going out to you guys right now, and then uh, the Matrix Enhance uh, pickup that is in the acoustic. And this is a Triple O 17E by Martin Guitar. Love this thing. So, all right, so let's go ahead here and talk about the second half of that chorus. So, here's the part that we just went over. All right, so we're doing there. We've got a G chord again, nice and loose, right? L tap into your inner Jimmy Page. We all have one, okay? So that's not strum with that G chord. Let the pick do the work for you. Switching to a D chord. To our D sus4 and D, we're gonna go back and forth between those two. Just like that. All right. So let's go ahead and do the entire chorus here. I'll do one slow and I'll do one a little bit faster. I'll take some questions if you guys have any and then we'll go ahead and look at the solo rhythm, uh, the rhythm part that is, so the rhythm part that is happening underneath that solo. Okay, we're gonna look over that. I'm not gonna be going over the guitar solo today, but just what's happening with the, uh, with the acoustic guitar. All right, so here we go. Let's do the chorus. Let's do a slow pass and we'll do a fast one. Three, four. slow pass here we go
Let's go ahead and do one a little bit faster. Right? There we go. So that's it. So let's go ahead now. Let's do everything that we have done so far. Let's, 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 let's add that intro verse and let's add in that chorus too, okay? I'll do a slow pass and a fast pass. Here we go. Chorus. Let's do one a little bit faster here and then I'll take a couple questions if you guys have any. So here we go. So that's what's happening there. Super, super fun, really beautiful. The, the rhythm part um, that is happening underneath the guitar solo, I think is particularly beautiful. So really excited to teach that in a moment here. But let's take some of your questions. All right, all right, good. Everybody's good, good, good. I'm glad everybody's feeling the, uh, the strumming patterns. Excellent, happy to hear that. A lot of cold people in, uh, <laughs> on the East Coast. I'm, I'm not gonna tell you what the weather looks like here in, uh, here in California right now. I'll just leave that to myself. <laughs> Opie, stay warm, everybody. Stay warm. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Ah, I notice sometimes when you play individual notes, you anchor your pinky to the pick guard. I find myself doing the same. Is that okay? So some people would say no, and some people would say yes. So for me, a, a lot of times for certain things, I do like to anchor. There are other instances where I do not. So... You know, having it there is okay. And just having maybe a little bit more of a closed fist, we don't want anything too tight. Um, but if you don't want to do that, that's okay too. Um, I'm someone who, who does it sometimes. I'd say like maybe 75% of the time I will anchor. A really, really good question. Really good question. <laughs> How funny. I think there was a, tanger a song Tangerine from the 40s. Yes. <laughs> There is indeed, there is indeed. Very, very cool, very cool. Um, oh, glad you guys, glad everybody's enjoying this. Yay, thank you so much. And again, if you're loving these lessons, be sure to subscribe to the channel. It helps the cause, Angela Petrilli Music. And you can check me out on angelapetrillimusic.com. I'll be playing some shows in LA 
It's gonna be good stuff. Hoping to hoping to do some touring too in the next couple of months. We shall see. But would absolutely love to. But yeah, it is it is a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and look at what's happening underneath the guitar solo. I will break that down just on its own, um, so you can see how that sounds and looks. So here we go. Okay. go to the chorus. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the chords here. Again, simple chords. We got a couple that have an additional bass note in it, so we see those slash, uh, those slash chords here. Don't, don't be scared. They're actually really, really cool. Don't worry. Don't worry. So what we're going to do here, so it's A minor. Again, nice and light. Let the pick do the work for you here. Yes, Dwayne, I totally agree. Very similar. It does have a space odd oddity kind of kind of vibe. I need to teach some Bowie. I'll have to I'll have to add that to my list. There are a couple Bowie songs I'd love to teach you guys. So we'll have to do that. All right. So we've got A minor, and then we have a C over G. How do we play this? Well, the chord looks like this. It looks like a C chord, but we just add a G note in the bass, okay? So how we do this, just give me a regular C chord, how you would regularly play it up here, right? So now your third finger, because C isn't enough of a stretch already, okay? Bring that third finger up one more fret. Right, one more string, third fret of that E string, and your pinky finger will now take the place where your third finger used to be. Okay, so your third finger should be on G, right? That's our bass note here, third fret of the E string, pinky finger is playing C, your second finger is playing E, second fret of the D string, the G string is still open, first finger, first fret of the B string, that note is C. So with this chord, you're gonna strum every single string. chord okay for my beginners it may be a little tough to get to this I have some people saying can I just play a C chord you could this one sounds a little better <laughs> this one sounds a little better so I encourage you get out of your comfort zone a little bit push yourself to do this okay really really beautiful really really beautiful chord Okay, so the strumming again is gonna be the same for the A minor C over G D chord and the F over C, which we'll talk about in a moment here. So let's go ahead and play the A minor to C over G. Let's get used to that progression. Again, back to A minor. beautiful chord. Those of you who have a 12 string, I bet it is just sounding like a symphony. I bet it sounds super, super amazing. Sounds good on a six string too, but really on a 12 string, this kind of stuff really sings. Okay, so the next chord is going to be a D chord, same strumming pattern. Okay, and then we're going to go to an F over C. Here's how I want you to play this. Get your first finger, put it on C, first fret of the B string, second finger, second fret of the G string, that note is A, third finger, we're going to reach up, it's going to look like kind of a wacky C chord, but don't worry, hang, hang with me here, hang with me here, third finger, third fret of the A string, that note is C, okay, and your pinky finger is going to play the F note on the third fret of the D string, so it should sound like this. Okay, so that's an F major chord, right, F, A, and C, those are the three notes we need for that F major chord. We're just getting the C in the bass, all right? 
So that starts to sound like now, if uh, those of you are maybe a little more advanced, if you wanted to grab, and your, get your thumb and grab that F on the first fret of that E string, if you can do it, great. Those of you where it's like, oh, it's maybe a little too much, just stick with this, that's okay. Um, I, I, I kind of like this one instead of this, even though I'm a huge fan of using my thumb when I play guitar. Um, kind of like that C in the bass right there. So let's go ahead and look at these four chords together, same strumming pattern. Yeah, Simon, it's a cool chord, right? Love it. All right, so here we go. Now notice how I'm overhanging the thumb, but I'm muting that string. I'm not really using it. Um, someone is saying, yeah, could you just do an F bar chord? You could, but the, the chord is F over C. So you would want that C in the bass. Okay. So good, good question. All right, let's do that again a little bit faster. There you go, C over G. D major. F over C. Now, when we do that C over G, it is something I want to mention. Have that thumb in the middle of the neck. Try not to, I mean, if it feels okay to do that with the overhang of the thumb, that may be a little tough for some of my beginners. Have that thumb in the back of the neck and see if that helps a little bit more with that grip. All right, so let's go ahead here and look at the next chord. So the next chord is gonna be an E major which is a lovely surprise in this song. All right. So it would sound like this when we incorporate it. down, down, up. Yeah, that feels a little more comfortable for me. So down, 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 up for that E chord. All right, so let's go ahead and now incorporate the E chord. So what happens here after this first E chord, we're gonna do another F over C, another E, another F over C. Okay, so here we go, adding those in. So notice how with that next, that second F over C that we see, two downward strokes, really, really accent those. Really cool part of the song there. Okay, so let's do that again. So what we do next is we're gonna to go to a C major chord. And we're gonna to go to a G chord. And we're gonna go back to our D and our D sus4. We're gonna do that two times. All right, so let's go ahead and now what we're gonna do here so we're gonna go ahead and look at the chords that are in this solo part. So it's A minor, C over G to D major, F over C to E major, F over C to E major, F over C, 
then we go to C, then we go to G, then we go to D and D sus4, back to D and D sus4, okay? I had someone ask the order of those, those chorus chords, and there they are, all right? So again, let's do a slow pass of this. And from there we go to a chorus, okay? So that's what's happening there. So we have two more sections left that we need to look at here. It's going to be the interlude, which is pretty cool and pretty simple. And then we get into the outro, which is just really stunningly beautiful and a really nice simple piece, but very, very beautiful nonetheless, okay? So let's look at the interlude here. So this is at like the 224, 25 mark of the song. And it's gonna sound like this. So all of these chords we've already learned already. We're just playing them in a little bit of a different way. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna strum the D major chord and we're gonna count. So the strum is gonna be on the one. One, two, three, four. Okay, we let that ring. Four beats, one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna do a down, up, down. Let it ring. Let it ring. So that's what's happening there, okay? So as that builds, that happens six times. And then what we're gonna do here is this part. Again, nice and loose here, right? Our inner Jimmy Page. It's what I'm looking for from you guys. We all have it, all right? So we're got D chord. So down, 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 up. To D sus four, keeping, so, so keep that D chord as it is to play the sus four, just put the pinky down on the G note, third fret of that E string. Back to D, D sus two, back to D major, okay? So I'll do that section nice and slowly here. Again, those of you who are lucky enough to have a 12 string, it's gonna sound particularly beautiful on that 12 string. I know some of us don't have one, so that's why I'm teaching it on a six string today. It's gonna sound just as good, but if you got a 12 string handy, definitely use it for this lesson. So here we go. So let's go ahead and do that whole interlude section. I'll do it at a little bit of a faster tempo because we have gone over these chords a couple times. So here we go. what's happening there that's what's happening there okay so what we'll do here is let's tag that onto a chorus and we'll do that interlude and then we'll finish things off with the outro again my name is Angela Petrilli so so happy to have all of you guys here 
please be sure to subscribe to the channel, Angela Petrilli Music. The, the little button is around like this area somewhere. Click that button, be sure to subscribe, and tell your friends. You got folks who are learning how to play guitar. Send these videos along to them. Again, every, every little bit counts. I'm really loving the community that we are building here, and I'm just loving how all of us are really supporting one another on our different musical journey. So I'm really loving all the positivity um, in these comments. It's, it's, it's really, really wonderful. So thank you all for being so wonderful to each other. It's a really, really cool thing to see. So thank you guys, I really mean that. So let's go ahead and look at the chorus here from the top of that chorus. That's what's happening there. Awesome, awesome job. I'm sure it's sounding great wherever you guys are. So let's go ahead and look at the outro here. This is the 255 mark of the tune. It sounds something like this. This is the one part of the song where I really miss having a 12 string because it's going to sound really killer on a 12 string. It will sound really, really good on, uh, on your six string too. But particularly this part, just so written for a 12 string. Okay, so what we're going to do here is it's A minor two times downward stroke. Then what you're going to do, reach up with your third finger on the G note, third fret of that E string. You're going to just pluck that note only. Okay, now what you're gonna do here, keep this finger there, strum the D string, G string, and B string only. Those three, because here's what's really neat. Think about those two notes. Remember I always says the one, three, five. I like letting you guys know what the notes are that we're playing in these songs, right? So D string, G string, and B string. Hey, look at that. It's a G chord. Those are the three notes we need, and they're all right there, so technically, G chord, even though we're only playing this one thing. Isn't that cool? So, so that's what we want to do there. So again, from the A minor. Now, first finger goes down on the C note, first fret of that B string, but continue to strum those three strings, D, G, and B. Okay, just like that. So let's do that again. Now get your third finger, place that on the third fret of the B string. That note is D, it'll sound like this. That's what we're looking for. All right, so here we go from that A minor. Again. So once we do that and we have our pinky there on that D note, give it a nice little loose strum, like if we're playing a mandolin or something. Okay, let's do that again from the A minor. Again, one more time. So the next part of this is gonna sound like this. So what we're gonna do here, your third finger, place it on the third fret of the D string, that note is F. 
okay? Second finger, second fret of the G string, that note is A. And the B string is going to be open. It should sound like this. Talk about a cool Jimmy Page chord, there it is. Okay, it's so just like that. And, what, and from here, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put that first finger down on C, first fret of the B string. So it'll sound like this. Again, nice little light strum on that F chord. If you happen to get the E string in there, it's okay. Then we gotta call it an F major seven. All right, so here we go from the top of that A minor. One more time. And here's the last part, it's gonna sound like this. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, first finger, keep it on the first fret of that B string, that note is C, pinky finger is gonna go on the G note, third fret of the E string. Strum the G string as well. And if you happen to get the D string in there too, I think it's fine. Then you're gonna lift your first finger and then open G string. So let's look at that. And then harmonic at the very end. I like to use my second finger for the harmonic. Uh, 12th fret of the D string, G string, and B string. You're gonna play them all at the same time. Now with harmonics, we don't wanna press. That's not what we're doing. We're not doing that, okay? Right on top of that 12th fret, nice and light. Do not press, get right on top of the fret, because if you're not on top of the fret, listen. We're not getting the right clarity. Notice the sustain, yes. Okay, so let's do that again from the top. tune folks very well done i'm sure it's sounding awesome and again be sure to tag me and fishman in these lessons and uh let us know and keep us posted on your progress with all of this stuff again my name is angela patrilli it is always such a pleasure and such a joy and honor to hang out with you guys every saturday afternoon and teach you guys how to play some of my favorite songs again be sure to subscribe to the channel. Check out all the cool stuff Fishman is doing. Link is in the video description. Again, such an honor. And as always, wishing you much success on your musical journey. Again, you can check me out on my website, angelapatrillimusic.com, here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of that stuff. If you're in LA, I'll be playing some shows uh, this month and for for the next couple weeks here in LA. So it'll be a lot of fun. Again, wishing you much success. Thank you all so much. I will see you guys next week live here on YouTube every Saturday at 12 p.m. Pacific. Wishing you much success as always. So 